Imagine with me a beautiful, cool Sunday morning in December. You're near the beach and it's a simpler life. You turn on the radio and you prepare for your day. You wake up and suddenly the quietness of the air has disappeared. You hear a rumble off in the distance. As it approaches, you notice that it's airplanes. As the airplanes get overhead, you find out that there's a rising sun emblem on the side of the airplanes. Just as soon as you begin to question why are there Japanese planes above, the bombs start to fall. This is exactly what the soldiers and citizens at Pearl Harbor experienced on December 7, 1941. Today I would like to tell you about the attack on Pearl Harbor, what happened on December 7, why the Japanese Empire executed the attack, as well as the result of the attack on the United States. The surprise attack began at 7.48 a.m. Hawaiian time. The first attack included torpedoes dropped to attack U.S. battleships. Soldiers awoke to bombs and gunfire and alarms. They were not prepared for the attack. Many U.S. planes were folded wingtip to wingtip to keep up space, and many of the ammunition and lockers were locked. The first Hawaiian command to respond to the, the attack has the famous message of, Air Raid Pearl Harbor, this is not a drill. The second attack commenced not long after the first, and it was directed toward hangars and airfields around Pearl Harbor. 90 minutes after it began, the attack was over. 2,403 American military and civilians were killed, 18 ships were sunk, and five battleships were sunk. A majority of the deaths came from the USS Arizona, which sunk not too long after a torpedo hit the ammunition locker at the front of the ship, killing over 1,000 soldiers. Staff close to Yamamoto, the admiral of the Japanese fleet, speculate that he began planning the attack December of 1940. Yamamoto was approved for the attack at the Imperial Conference in July of 1941. The main objective of the attack was for the Japanese to destroy battleships and aircraft carriers located in the United States Pacific Fleet so that they could not mobilize to attack in the Southeast Asia space. While the Japanese succeeded in destroying a number of battleships, they did not destroy any of the carriers. Bad weather had delayed the arrival of the carriers, which were expected to arrive on December 6th. The result of the attack was a declaration of war against the Japanese Empire. President Roosevelt delivered the famous infamy speech December 8th, in which he called December 7th a day which will live in infamy. It was almost overnight that Americans united against the Japanese Empire. The historian Samuel Ellett Morrison read that the attack doomed Japan from the start because they awakened a sleeping giant. Days later, Germany declared war on the U.S., and America was entered to a war on both the Pacific and the European front. The U.S. fought alongside allies from December 7th of 1941 to September 2nd of 1945. The attack on Pearl Harbor entered the U.S. into a war where over 60 million people were killed. The U.S. fought long and hard to conquer areas in the Southeast Asia over the next couple of years. Famous battles occurred throughout the Pacific. The U.S. fought at Wake Island, the Battle of Midway, and Guadalcanal. One of the most famous battles happened at battle, the Battle of Iwo Jima, and that's where we have the video of the Americans raising the flag on the island. As battles pushed closer and closer to Japan, the United States made the decision to drop the atomic bomb on the cities of Nagasaki and Hiroshima in early August of 1945. The Japanese surrendered days later, finally ending the war on the Pacific Front. Just a few weeks ago, we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor will always be a great reminder of the sacrifice made by the servicemen and women of this great nation. I hope today you have enjoyed learning about the attack on Pearl Harbor, understanding the reason for the attack, as well as the result of one of the most important days in our country's history.